Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isaiah Kubala Ibrahim. I'm going to discuss issues that pertain to the recent uh, recovery of uh, about $5.8 million from Ibori uh, loot. It is uh, a welcome idea that uh, this administration is uh, at least bringing back some of the loot that uh, some people were happy to 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 to, to do to their particular uh, uh, or that is affecting this nation. Corruption has deeply eaten into this system for quite a long, and um, people now look at this from a perspective of. Uh, getting back our money. I will categorize the problem of corruption into three. One, lack of institutions. Two, the corporate of corruption. That uh, is very mad and wicked because you are giving trust and you end up betraying that trust. And the third perspective of it is the custodians of theft or corruption. That is people where you, after they, this idiot or criminals have taken the money belonging to the society or their society or to Nigeria or to their respective states, will now move out of this country and those countries will now accept it as a destination or the havens for stolen wealth and the pathetic part of it is that uh, their respective societies are wallowing in poverty and the monies that they are stealing even if where they were to sit down and spend it they can't spend the whole of it they can't because some of them runs to hundreds of millions of dollars so you can just imagine the kind of madness and the criminality in the minds of the 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 corporate the the the, the, the corrupt in our society especially in nigeria so the weak institutions we have is that uh, people steal and got scot free. You become a governor or local government chairman. Before you know it, these people are buying almost everything around their particular vicinity, tormenting the societies with uh, with uh, sudden wealth, without even taking cognizance of uh, what they are. They are preaching to the, 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 the generality of the society. So, 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 it is a problem that uh, we ought to have the person that is offering the service to the society now engages in. So, it's already a pro person with a, 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 a syndrome of uh, corruption. There are cancers eating into our societies. So if they have conditioned their mind to wreck this society, to wreck the wealth of this nation, and thereafter take this world out of this society safely, without anything, means that their, this, our system, our, our institutions that ought to stop him from the anti-corruption bodies like the EFCC, the ICPC, the Code of Conduct Bureau and whatever. If the, it is the failure of these institutions that allow it, if these ones fail at the point of taking this thing out, the banks, the banks should have one ethics or the other to check the excesses of people taking this money out. So the banks, the weak banking governors and institutions are some of the places 
Nigerians used to to siphon the resources of their various communities or state uh, government. So those things need to be strengthened. Then the fourth one, the 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 the, the custodians, the host of this wealth. Their crime is the same thing with those that take the money. <laughs> if, to my own, if my opinion is to be sought, Great Britain, Swiss, America, all of them, they have institutions that should check this. But the institutions will be quiet because from all indications they are looking at us as fools. Because I have never seen an American or person from Emirati or person from another country that is coming to Nigeria to invest a loot. Most of them will come with their claim money. Though the Aztec is not there to check what but most at times hardly will you see an American citizens that will come into this country with a stolen money and you see America chasing him up to Nigeria. <laughs> It's, if it is a complicit, uh, complacency, then it would sorry. But frankly speaking, that is a problem that Nigerians look need to look into. And the problem that general, the second part of this uh, 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 thing is, the states are saying that uh, since it was stolen from them, the money should be brought back to them. And the federal government is saying, no, the agreement reached with Great Britain, which are the custodians of our stolen wealth, and shamefully, they are not even ashamed of taking a, a poverty-driven society's money, and you keep it. Hmm? You will not keep it until the society now asks for it. If they do not act of it, you become quiet. So that is a kind of standard that uh, that they are setting for 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 twenty first century world. That peop it's safe for you to steal from your country, in as much as your country do not ask that the money should be brought back, or the country do not investigate you. That is the posture the EU countries and the Americans are are, are, are showing us. Um, which is very, very pathetic. It is just very unethical. And we look at those societies as a, a sin society. But they look at, there are double standard to this serenity. In as much as it is not their money that is stolen, it is safe. Especially countries like Switzerland, countries like uh, Britain, countries like United States. They are these three biggest custodians of stolen world across the third world country or developing nations they create heavens for this and I, I don't blame them they use this money to also to to run their, their their society i'm not saying completely but at least they benefit from this stolen world at the detriment of the poverty driven third world countries or developing countries so my take on it is that Whatever it is, it is a lesson to any state that you should hold your citizens accountable after they are gone or after they leave their political seat. If you allow it to escape, it's either the white man enjoys your money and leave you with poverty which your citizens cost, cost you or the money will be brought back and be shared for the benefit of the generality of the, 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 the country. It is a great lesson. So we should endeavor to appoint or elect leaders that are selfless, the leaders that will look at your money and give you service. So because you can just imagine Delta, is Delta not suffering from a lot of this? Go to those communities not the cities, go to some of their communities, you cry for them. These people are in a, in a serious dire need of uh, development. But a governor will take chunk of hundreds of millions of dollars and go and bury it 
and give it to the white men and they are enjoying creating wealth within themselves. Even if it is 10 years that that money has spent in white man's land, imagine you investing 100 million or even this 5.7 million in two or three industries in Nigeria, you could have imagined or even there the impact you could have created for those people there. Is it not Tony M. Lumelu that is, is giving wow. entrepreneurs $5,000 at the end of it, and some of them are surviving with it? So imagine sharing that $5.8 million recovered from, from debt and from, from the looted fund of, uh, from rivers. Let that money be shared to some few individuals that will create wealth and create small businesses in Delta. It will have gone a far way far, but they will take this money out of this country and go and bury it in white man's land. And now, since they are not around, or some investigation is going, the money is coming back and it's benefiting the whole country. So my advice is to the respective states in Nigeria, both in North and South, whoever steals your money, you hold him responsible. The institutions should start working. The EFCC should begin to should, should delve into the states or the, the respective uh, 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 offices in the, in the whatever. Immediately a leader gets it down. He should be investigated. If he comes clean, fine. That should be honored. But if he's found to be guilty of uh, corruption, then the, the, the court should take its uh, appropriate step. So that is my candid advice in respect to the looted fund. It is a plus to this country that we got back our wealth from, from starch in, in, in the white man's land. It's, it's disheartening. In fact, those people need to be face a firing squad if I were to enact law. The Chinese model, if you steal, you are caught, you have to be eliminated because you are the enemy of the state or enemy of the nation. So this is what I have to say concerning that. Have a nice time.